Let us go through some of the best practices to perform batch loads into the database tables. First of all, we should minimize the number of connections to database. Establishing connection to database is quite expensive. If you end up establishing connection for each and every row, then you will not be able to scale up. It will uh, bring the database down within no time or your jobs will never complete. It is a lot more expensive than committing more frequently. So you should minimize the number of connections to database. Also, we should avoid executing queries using hard-coded values. Rather, we should prefer bind variables. We should not build the queries with hard-coded values while uh, getting data into the database tables. We should use bind variables and using those bind variables, we should be able to pass the values and we should be able to load the data into the tables. Too much committing is bad as commit incurs a significant amount of forehead. It triggers something called as checkpoint and checkpoint is quite expensive. You should avoid committing very frequently. If you have to load considerable amount of data, even committing at the end is bad. We should consider committing every 1000 records or 10,000 records or even more based upon the capacity of the database. However, you need to ensure that it is committed more frequently. Most of the mainstream databases perform direct path I.O. or batch load which might perform better compared to looping, inserting and committing data. In some cases, we can use those features. But uh, if you wanted to have better control as part of your uh, data loading process, typically we commit uh, in chunks. So you should be familiar with all the approaches. Depending upon the requirements, you have to use one of these two approaches to get the data into the table. Either commit less frequently by loading data in batches such as 1000, 10,000 or more depending upon the capacity of the database or use direct path IO or batch loads using underlying database native utilities. These two are the most common approaches to get the data loaded into the tables when we are dealing with huge amounts of data to get into the tables. So make sure you understand the pros and cons of each and every approach and stick to one of these two approaches to get the data into the underlying tables as part of your uh, data engineering pipelines or dealing with batch loading of the data. Don't try to insert one record at a time and commit one record at a time. It's a very bad practice. You should avoid at any cost.